we actually have a graphic here of how to do a self-exam. And I know myself, I was just saying yesterday on during, while I was taking a bath, I actually did a self-breast examination and I actually wanted to see if I did it correctly. So what are we looking for when we do a self-breast examination? So I always tell my patients the most important thing is just to be familiar with your own breast so that you would know if something was different. Um, I counsel patients to examine themselves after their menstrual period if they're still premenopausal mm -hmm. because right before their periods their breasts are going to be the most dense and most lumpy and bumpy and so, so you want to do it afterward. Um, in this graphic you can see the uh, cartoon figure raising her arms above her head and then putting her arms on her hips. Doing that in front of the mirror is very important because you want to make Make sure that you see any asymmetries between either side. Now most patients will have asymmetric breasts. One side might be slightly larger than right. the other and as long as that's been clinically stable um, for the past several years that's not something to worry about. However if there's a new change like a puckering of the skin or one nipple looks a little higher than the other and that's never been that way before right. then that may be the most subtle sign that something may be different. Um, and so the first thing is just looking and I do this with patients when I examine them in the office. I'll have them raise their arms above their head and then on their hips and I'll just look at both sides and see if I see any asymmetries. And then the next graphic, it's showing you that the patient is actually self-palpating or feeling the breast. And you want to use um, one hand on one side and the other hand on the other. And the last graphic below is showing that you're going from an up to down motion or from the middle and out, like a, a speculated, like a wheel, mm -hmm. or you can go around in a circle there. Um, but the most important thing is just making sure that you check all the breast tissue. And so the breast tissue is comprised of all the tissue from the clavicle down to the inframammary fold. From here? And, yeah. So you want to start checking from oh. up here all the way down and then into the axilla under the armpit. Um, you can do this lying down or standing up in the shower. Okay. Um, and I think the most important thing, as I said before, is just to be familiar with your breasts, even if you're not doing it exactly right. Right. Being able to to know that there's a change in the way that the breast either looks or feels is very important to be able to detect that.